Hey, 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 I'm Angie Rose with Angie Rose Health Coaching, and I'm very excited today to meet with you and talk with you about our Monday mojo. I don't know about you, I had a long weekend, and I'm telling you, Sunday felt like five Sundays. <laughs> I don't know why, but it was like getting up today to try to come back to work after a four-day week weekend. Um, actually, sometimes it's harder than just having the two days, but I'm not complaining. I completely enjoyed it. I Netflixed, I shopped, I napped, had a good weekend, ate out, you know, all that good stuff. So it was fun. I hope you guys had a good weekend as well. For those of you who didn't, um, I'm sorry. Sometimes family is hard and sometimes holidays are hard. I know that we've all lost, a lot of us have lost people and things have been tough this year. They've absolutely been tough. Um, so it makes the holidays a little harder, that's for sure. Um, but I am glad you're here and I'm glad you're watching. So today I actually want to talk with you about gratitude. I know that seems kind of weird because we're actually past Thanksgiving and we're on the other side of it. But, you know, gratitude and gratefulness is a characteristic that if you use regularly and you implement it into your life, it absolutely makes things much better. You know, I know there are always negative things happening and hard things happening, as I just said a minute ago, um, but there's always something to be grateful for. You know, this last year, uh, most of you know, or some of you know, I lost uh, one of my fathers uh, to ALS in August. And just this, this year has been a very, very tough emotionally, physically spent year, if you will, if I will say so. Um, but the truth of the matter is that through the midst of all of the things that were going on in the last year, since last December, um, truly the one thing I kept telling myself is God is still good and there are still things to be grateful for. And every day I would get up and choose to worship him and love God and thank him for something. And so I don't know who I'm speaking to today about this, but, um, maybe it's you. Maybe it's somebody you know that needs to hear this, but there is always something to be grateful for. And even when we don't understand why things are happening the way they're happening or why they did, um, God is still good. He is still good. Um, so, you know, today gratitude is my topic and um, learning to be grateful in the midst of good and the midst of bad. Um, it's an art. Ladies and gentlemen, it absolutely is an art and it's biblical <laughs> that, you know, the Bible tells us that if we choose to be grateful and we focus on those things that are good, um, things change. We change. It changes us. It may not change the situation, but it changes us. And that's the only thing we have control over. So I just want to remind you of that, you know, but being grateful on a regular basis actually um, research shows that it helps with lowering depression, managing anxiety, supporting heart health, improving your sleep, and managing stress. I don't know about you, but when I am hurting or struggling, it definitely affects my sleep, it affects, affects my cortisol levels, affects my stress levels, um, definitely affects some anxiety, and none of us feel good when we're, we're focused on that stuff, right? Um, but it also continues, studies show that the more stressed out and the less we focus on the good things, um, the more our immune health kind of goes south, right? It really, truly does. So what I want to share with you today are 15 ways that you can express gratitude in your life um, by picking a couple a week. And I actually talk with this about this kind of stuff with my clients as part of my health coaching program because there's always ways to be grateful. There is really truly. So the first way to express gratitude is to say a sincere thank you to someone. Like a look them in the eye. I appreciate you. Thank you for fill in the blank. Your help matters to me. Um, you know, those sort of things. Um, or thank you for just simply being in my life. I actually texted that to one of my friends yesterday. Uh, we, I was talking to her about some stuff and I just said, thank you for being my friend. So that matters. Like I, I wasn't doing it for this video, but I just thought about that, that I actually literally did that yesterday. Two, you could write a letter to someone who's made a significant impact on your life. Um, even if they're no longer with us. 
there's something to be said to writing something down, getting it from in here to out here to be able to share it or pretend that person is here and read it to them. I don't know. You know what? Sometimes we just have to be able to get it out and read it out loud. Three would be to create a gratitude jar. So write down things you're grateful for on small pieces of paper and put them in a jar. And then when you're feeling down, pull out a piece of paper and remind yourself of what's been good in your life. I love this. I actually really need to do this because there are good things happening every day in some way, shape, or form. It doesn't always have to be big things. It can be the little things. It really, truly can, but they add up. It's all about what you focus on. Uh, number four would be send a small just because gift to someone you appreciate. Maybe it's a, even a text message. Um, there's times where all of a sudden I just think about somebody or someone and something they've done or I'm just thinking about them. And I will text them and say, I just want you to know I appreciate you today. How are you doing? Um, sometimes that's just a really amazing God wink that God put them on your heart. They're probably having a hard day or they're feeling down and it, they really appreciate that someone's thinking of them, right? Pay someone a compliment. Uh, my husband gets embarrassed by me all the time because I'll see somebody or another woman or well, even I'll compliment dudes, not because I'm hitting on them, all right? But I like their shirt, I like their hair, I love their makeup, their nails, whatever. Um, I will tell them. I don't care where we are. <laughs> I just do. Uh, it's always nice to get a compliment, especially from someone you absolutely have no idea who they are. So how about six? Cook a meal for someone you're grateful for. That would be cool. Uh, seven, support a cause that you or someone important to you cares about. Number eight, create art. Could be a drawing, a song, a poem, a dance, maybe another form of expression about something you're grateful for. Number nine, Work out. You wouldn't expect this on this list of things I'm grateful for uh, or what you could do to show your grat gratitude. Ex work out because it expresses gratitude for your health by taking care of your body. One of the things that I tell the ladies in here when they come work out with me, I've told them, I said, working out is actually worship unto the Lord because he gave us this beautiful, amazing body to move to groove, to lift weights, to whatever it is you like to do. Um, I can't tell you how many times in the middle of a workout, I'm like, thank you, Jesus, that I get to work out. It's not that I have to, I get to, because I've been in seasons of my life where I couldn't. So be grateful. That's actually gratitude toward your body. Be patient. The next time you're feeling frustrated, take a few breaths as a show of understanding and gratitude for others. Uh, sometimes we fail. I had an epic fail on this one in the last week. Um, and as I look back, I was not patient and I wasn't kind and I got some work to do. Okay. Send someone, number 11, send someone a text, letting them know you're thankful for them. Number 12, maybe leave a post-it note for someone you care about expressing your gratitude for them, maybe in their car, on their desk, um, in their lunchbox, um, wherever they will find it, or maybe a surprise spot on the mirror in the morning that's for your kids or your husband or wife. Um, but Kelsey in here, our office manager does this. Uh, if I have a hard day or somebody has a hard day, uh, I have come in to my office the next morning and there's a fun little note with a little card that has a, uh, comment and an encouraging word on it for me, um, that she will write out. She's good at that. She's really good. So number 13, pay it forward. When someone does something kind for you, pass on the good deed by doing it for someone else. 14, practice a random act of kindness for someone. Pay for their coffee, pick up their trash, mow their yard, shovel their walk. Um, do something nice for somebody. And you don't even have to tell them. Or maybe you do. I don't know. And number 15 is volunteer your time somewhere. Maybe it's a shelter, a food bank. Maybe it's an organization in your community. but Or a, maybe even it's volunteering your time to listen. I know that that's a big one, that there are so many people that struggle to feel heard, and maybe you're someone who struggles to feel heard, then that's exactly how you need to volunteer is start listening to other people. Because sometimes we get so focused on us 
that people aren't hearing us and we try to be louder and louder where sometimes it's about just being quieter and quieter and listening to other people around you. And I know none of us are perfect. I'm definitely not perfect at this. I do a lot of talking. That is my business. I talk to people for a living. I talk on videos. I teach. I train. I um, coach. I do all those kinds of things. I lead. Um, sometimes I need to work on just being a little more quiet and listening. And it's okay. I understand that I need to. So maybe that's you. I don't know. But hopefully one of those 15 stood out to you today. Of course, you can go back and write these things down. Um, and you can absolutely think about even if it's just one or two of these a week that you choose to do um, or one a day, one a day just to get your mind off yourself and focus on the others around us and loving people well, right? So I hope this makes your day awesome, your week wonderful. And I'm excited for you guys to have a very thankful, grateful, whole, healthy week. And just remembering that um, thankfulness and gratefulness is not just for Thanksgiving. It's for every day, all year long. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. We'll see you next Monday.